And this is number four. This session we're going to talk about how muscles are made up, the makeup of muscles. And I want to start off telling you when I first learned how to do massage was in 1952, working on my uncle's dairy farm in the summertime. Now, in the winter, I was in Washington, D.C. In the summer, I was in East Kingston, New Hampshire. And that particular year, my uncle had bought and got a baler for when the balers first came out to bale his hay. But they, they didn't have very good twine because they were new. So we'd get to bailing, go down the line, and, and pretty soon the twine would break, and we'd have to take it out. And I'm going to show you a little demonstration of what we did on the back of the tractor. And there was a metal plate like this on the back of his tractor, and the bailing twine would break, and we'd lay it on the metal plate. We'd rub our hands across it like this, and we'd, un we'd unravel it, and then we could braid it. So there's the fibers. Now, I, what I realized is that if you want to unravel a bailing twine, you don't go this way with it. You go across it. And look at this, I went across it and there it is, it's all frayed. Well, we're doing the same thing to muscle. We're fraying, we're, we're unraveling the muscle so that the lymph can get back between the muscle fibers to lubricate them. Because I understood that baling twine was a lot like muscle and that muscle fibers are a lot like this straw, I want to show you a little straw demonstration. Now, muscle fibers are like straws and one end of the straw is connected here, one is connected here. The origin of the straw is connected where the frame connects, the insertion is the part that moves. So now we have this, this tube, this fascia, and inside of this tube we have little connectors. They're called actin and mycin, and they go like this. Click, 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 click. So when they, when they come together like this, the muscle shortens. When they go like this, the muscle lengthens. So it's pretty simple. So inside of this straw, now this fascia, is the muscle fiber, and it comes to here, and it comes about to here, and we call this muscle and we call this tendon. The truth is that it's all one thing. If you understand that, you'll understand why we need to go across the fibers and we unravel the fibers. And then you see the straws moving? Well, that's the way muscle fiber works when you're massaging it. It just simply moves and unravels and it opens up. See how much looser they get? Look how they start. They start nice and compacted and tight. And as I rub my hand across them, what do they do? They loosen up. And that's what we're doing to muscle. We're loosening it up. Now, to understand how muscles really work, I, wanted, I bought myself a roast, a pot roast, and I cooked it, and I took it apart. And, and then I really understood how muscles were because you understand that meat is muscle. That's what it is. You buy a roast, it's muscle. I don't care. You buy a chicken breast, it's muscle. So I want to show you now what I found with that roast. These are the muscle fibers, and you can see them here in my hand. And I took it apart, and I realized that around each fiber was fascia. And the fibers were banded together. So as I take this roast apart, you begin to see how muscle works. This is muscle. This is muscle fibers. And the fibers are all independent, and they work independently. And you can see all these fibers. So if you, if you really want to understand muscle, you can go pick up a roast. And at the end of the fibers, you'll see that the fibers are all banded together in fascia. So you've got straws that I've just showed you. And you've got straws around the straws and straws around that straw. And then around the whole muscle, you have fascia again. So this whole piece of muscle. And I think you can see the grains of the muscle right here. I'm going to take this piece apart. And I'm going to show you all the grains of the muscle. And that's all muscle. That's what muscle is. So when we take our fingers, we rub across the muscle, the same way we rub across the, the bailing twine, the muscle unravels, and all of a sudden the muscle can get circulation again. And that's all that we're doing. We're simply unraveling the muscle. Now you notice with the roast, it's, you, know, you see how it's made. And now I'm going to show you actually massaging a chicken breast. Now... I want to show you how, how easy it is to move a muscle. This is a chicken breast with the skin on it, and there's the skin and the muscle, and you can see the muscle moving. See the muscle moving? Now, I'm pressing on the skin. The skin would be the skin. Underneath the skin is the muscle, so I'm going to press down, and now I'm going to move the muscle, and you can see the muscle moving. So it doesn't take very much pressure at all to move a muscle. So it's not about digging in and going deep. It's about going across the fiber and moving the muscle. Now, this particular fiber is going in this direction, so I'm going to come across it this way, and I'm going to unravel the fiber. And just that simple. 
See how easy that is? So now you understand it's not about a lot of pressure. It's about simply unraveling the muscle, not sliding across it, but getting in and unraveling it. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now, I want you to understand that there's some simple things you need to know. Now, you see in the straw demonstration, I showed you how a muscle worked, that the, that the, that the muscle connected from one end to the other end. And we're always going to massage the muscle all the way from one end to the other. Where it's hooked, hooked to the body is called the origin. The part that moves is called the insertion. So we're going to go from the origin to the insertion and back to the origin and back, back and forth. But we don't ever massage a piece of a muscle and leave it unmassaged because transitioning is really important in massage. You don't want to leave a person feeling half massaged. You want to feel like they got the full experience that they could have. And we do that by doing whole muscles and then transitioning into another muscle and working the whole muscle. And then transitioning into another muscle and working the whole muscle. So it's all about working the origin to the insertion, getting the whole muscle, and gently transitioning. So now we're ready for number five.